My name is Doug Hamlin. I'm president of Versatrans, which is a company devoted to making software for school districts to optimize and manage their school bus routing and student management operations. I started with the company in 1983 as a software developer. I grew from software developer to project manager to training specialist to executive management over a period of 15 to 20 years. You know, what the, the things that are, I focus most on are integrity and, and meaningful attention to core values and beliefs. If you've got a focus on integrity and values, you're going to sleep well at night and, and serve your customers and your employees as best you can. And I generally lead from a position of optimism. Uh, having dealt with some challenges over the years, I think it allows me to put things into perspective for people that if someone thinks XYZ is a huge problem, I may be able to help them understand that it's not as big a problem as they might think it is. So I grew up in a classic suburban environment, uh, had all the opportunities uh, presented to me that a young teenager does. I was uh, heavily into uh, high school athletics, I played baseball, I was on the swim team, I was a diver on the swim team, and I, I had a very uh, physical life. Uh, when I was 23 years old, I was at a backyard party um, on a lake in western New York, and uh, there was a trampoline there. I'd had some experience on trampolines as part of my diving experience in high school and college. And I, um, so I was showing off a little bit and got a little bit out of control and came down on the trampoline on my head rather than my feet and broke my neck in three places. I knew the second I hit the trampoline that I wasn't going to walk again. I was sure as I was lying there uh, waiting for the ambulance to show up that my life had changed forever. Early on in my hospital stay, uh, my um, boss showed up from the job that I had only been full-time at for six weeks and in the course of our conversation indicated that my job would be waiting for me when I was ready to return to it. Um, so here I am, 23-year-old, newly paralyzed from, in essence, the chest down, uh, looking at what looked like a very long and dark tunnel and he provided me with a light at the end of that tunnel. And um, I don't know if at that time he knew the power of that statement, but I certainly understood then that there was going to be life after this horrible thing that I was going through. Um, that it wouldn't be without its challenges, but I would have the opportunities, the professional opportunities I know that I always wanted. What that gave me was a foundation of how I would ultimately want to run a business, which is to find uh, opportunities for the people that work for you and allow them to grow into those opportunities. When I finally got out of the hospital and returned to work, I, I realized that I, I did not want to be defined by my disability. So I, ident I identified those things that are real about the disability and I put them up in a box. I can't ignore them. There are things that I have to live with and, and challenges that I have to overcome. But, but they're isolated, they're not who I am. And who I am is an executive, or who I am is a software developer, and who I am as a person, who I am as a husband or a brother, are, are not identified by anything in that box. That box is just the stuff that I have to carry with me, just like everybody else has. And mine's just a little bit different. And I've, and I've succeeded as a result of it, not in spite of it. It's become so much of who I am, and overcoming what would be perceived as, and were at the beginning, daily challenges, is now a matter of course. You know, not everybody's going to run a software company, not, not everybody's going to have an executive leadership position. I didn't know when I started that I was going to be uh, the president of the organization, but it starts with what do you aspire to do. It, as soon as you say, that's it, I'm done, this is as far as I can go, that's it, you're done, that's as far as you're going to go. You've always got to find that next level. If I can take satisfaction in anything related to the injury, the disability, it's that I've achieved what I've achieved and, and I can use that to help others do the same thing. Whether it's speaking to a group of high school students or a group of young professionals, I can help them understand that, that the world is really theirs for the taking. If they approach it with the attitude that they're going to grow every step of the way, regardless of the challenges they have in front of them. And there won't be physical challenges, there might be some other kind of challenge. That um, their, their opportunities really are what they want to make of them. And, and that success can be had by anybody who really wants to find it.